Well, guys, I thought I'd give you a real quick update about this snapper. Uh, it's been running fine since last year. I've cut the last half of the uh, season, last season with it, and all this season. I just did the last mow today with it. And it got all the way through. I was on the very last part of the last mow of this year, and this happened. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of hot. Uh, looks like this uh, broke apart here. You see it's got some spot welds. This is the uh, drive. Uh, <laughs> it's the drive disc, they call it. And this one was working fine. It's old. You can see it's got some cracks in it, but apparently it just had metal fatigue. And when this thing comes apart, it don't go nowhere no more if the blade still runs, but ugh, there's got a big scuff right here. <laughs> I guess that's where it flew off. Didn't make any noise. It just uh, quit going, quit moving. So I'll have to fix that before next year sometime. It was old. You can see how dried up it is. So it needed to be replaced anyway. But what I was doing with it when I was... Um, when that this thing fell apart just then was I was backing up and going forward a lot I was switching gears so it was laying right like that <laughs> uh, don't know if you can see it but not really I'd have to turn it over but it goes back here at the up under here so Oh well, that's easily replaced. That ain't no big deal. So, uh, you know, for as old as it is, uh, it's it's not getting any complaints from me. So I'm gonna finish up the little trimming with this one. This is another good mower. One thing I've ever done to this mower is replace the primer bulb on it, and that's it. I've not even checked the air filter on it. Not worked on the carburetor. Not done anything. Well, one thing did happen to it, the, uh, the dead man cable here broke, bound up and broke. You can see the remains of it. I kind of cut it loose. I was going to try to just pull it and tie it off. It's got like a little lever here up under the, up under the engine. But I figured out that in this position where it, it stays by default, uh, there was a spring that would try to make it always do, go up this way, and that turns it off. You just push it kind of hard, and it cuts the engine. So I took that spring off and just let it stay there, and it works fine. All I do to turn it off is just when it's running, just, just, I don't need that thing. That's easier on me anyway, because you usually have to hold that down, and it probably, you know, that deal. So, <clears throat> All right, guys, a little mower update, end of the year. Bring on the snow, I guess. Ha ha. Bye.